Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We're about to head into day 19 here, as you can see. And we've, I've done a little bit of work. I finished up the uh, gunpowder and, you know, made a bunch more shotgun shells, that sort of thing. I have actually uh, put the remaining ingredients for the shotgun shells in there. I've got eight more in there. I'm just going to leave them there for the moment. I've got 40 on me plus the two in the uh, actual gun, so... I'm not too concerned. I do have a level up to spend, but we'll get to that in a minute. Because, of course, I also processed a whole bunch of concrete. So let's go ahead and grab that. Now, as you can see, I can turn this directly into wet concrete blocks. And I might do that in a bit. But we can also upgrade some of these guys in place. You can see I already upgraded this one right here. That one is just plain old a... Uh, you know, concrete block mound, but it starts out as a wet concrete block. I actually left my hammer in here, so let's grab that. Nope, come on. Nope, come on. Do, do, do what I want. There we go. Alright. So we will bop over here, and this one right next to it is ready, so basically we can start out with the flagstone, upgrade it to this, and then upgrade it to that. And, like that. And as you can see, it takes a while for it to dry, unfortunately. Uh, that takes 10 concrete as well. So if we have the, you know, it, it's, it's basically like, you know, 12 of one, a dozen of another. So if I were to, you know, destroy these blocks, I could put down wet concrete. But it would basically be the same. Now, technically, I would get a little bit of stuff back from these guys. But I'd also be doing damage to my pick. So, I might as well just upgrade those guys in place. These ones, I'm not so sure. I'll need to think about it. But these guys, I definitely am going to destroy and then replace with, you know, blocks. Now, I can should theoretically be able to upgrade this one more. Bam. Alright, now, I think that's reinforced concrete. We'll have to wait for it to dry to be sure, though. So, let's go ahead and get at least a few of these wet concrete. So, ooh, wow. There certainly aren't very many. Let's get, like, five, just to make sure. Well, here, let's actually do one. We'll wait for one to be done. Because I do want to make sure that this works the way I think it does. All right, there we go. We got you. Uh, all right, let's just kind of randomly choose this one right here. And we shall take our concrete block. And just like so. Okay. Yeah, that should work exactly like it was. Now, this is a change from previous versions, because it used to be there was the, like, rebar frame. Let's actually see. There's the iron frame and the rebar frame, yeah. Yeah. So, I think if I wanted to, I could use the rebar frame blocks and go straight to reinforced concrete. That might be what that is. But if I can get there without having to spend the metal, by all means. Alright, anyway, I said I was going to do my level up. And before I forget, we should do just that. Let's go put those guys right there. I'll do some of that upgrading probably off camera. Ooh, let's check our corn real quick. Uh, it's still growing. Darn it. I really wanted that to be done. All right, let's go ahead and do our level up. So we've got one point available. We're going to look in Fortitude, of course. Now my healing factor is already up where I need it. Iron Gut. Uses less calories and reduced chance of food poisoning. That one sounds really good. Uh, better than the average wasteland is reduced food and water loss from physical exertion by 5%. Hold your breath for 84 seconds. Chance of food poisoning and dysentery is reduced by 1%. Buffs from consumables last longer. And that goes up to 5 at its top. I can theoretically get up to 3 with my current constitution level. Hmm. Rule 1 cardio. Train your body in the number one technique. Running away from them. Alright, point one foot in front of the other. You know, hiker, increase stamina regen when sprinting. That seems good. But I also know it's not the best. Because, like, I want 
to see, like, so, let's see, specialized on unleashing relentless assaults of blows, guaranteeing blah, 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 alright. Um, reduces melee and tool stamina use by 5%, and power attacks by 10 So this reduces the cost, and that's all. Hmm. Assists. Quality three fair tools. Tool damage, block damage. So see this one. This will make it so that I run out of stamina slower as well. What's mother load? Harvest more resources. Mm, harvest twenty percent more from ore, stone, terrain blocks, and trees. Ooh, that might be a good one. Of course, there's also Boomstick. I've been using my shotguns. Do more damage. Hobo with a shotgun is not to be messed with. Craft quality, two poor shotguns. Deal 10% more damage. Faster fire rate. Faster reload. Hmm. Unlocks double barrel shotgun crafting. Hmm. Of course, I could also really use more pack mule. See, I'm going to have to bump up my strength stuff, because all that's a lot of stuff I need, too. But let's pop back over to Fortitude. Of course, there's something going on over there. You know, we're just going to bump up our actual... Oh, that takes two points. All right, well, since that's the thing I want at the moment, I guess I will need to just uh, hurry up and wait. Because I do need to get that to level 7 so I can start getting more farming going on. Which I suppose means I should probably go out and hunt more zombies. Now, I did hear stuff. Aha. You. I completely whiffed that shot. That was, that was bad. Alright, so I suppose we'll go hunting a few more zombies. Uh -huh, zombie hunting we will go. Oh, look at this. I have to fix that corner now. Ah, oh, well. Alright, let's see. Now, I've already gone that way quite a bit. I've gone that way a lot. Should I go back this direction again? Hmm, I just don't know. Let's kind of go around the trailer park. Oh, what is my... my self-suffering from? I'm actually in need of food. Alright, let's grab food before we go. Having myself this low on stamina is not a good plan. Do, do, do. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got enough stuff for bacon and eggs, that's for sure. <coughs> Cook up a few of them. <clears throat> Go see what we can do. Maybe get ourselves some more meat and eggs. Um, yeah, let's just let that sit for a few. Let's take a quick look at this again. Our water's actually a little bit low, too, so I'll probably need to drink a bit of water. We're not too bad. We still have that one death, but fortunately, that's all we've gotten so far. So, you know, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, let's eat ourselves some bacon and eggs. At the very least, two. Oh, really? I got the food poisoning. Is there something to get rid of food poisoning faster? I don't think there is, unfortunately. Starving. Alright, well, let's do that. All right, well, we're going to have to eat a whole bunch more. <sighs> great. Great, great, great. All right, well, yeah, that's not much of anything. Um, the sham will have to do. 
I was trying to avoid going after that, but uh, we ended up with less food than we started with. Maybe I really should get that iron gut thing. Uh, what else do we got here? Efficient digestion. For four minutes. Yeah, we don't get anything out of that. I don't want to use my corn and potatoes yet because I want to be able to make more of them. Cornmeal. You shame said no. Alright, cornmeal. What can we make of cornmeal? We can make some cornbread. We'll make cornbread. Let's grab like half that water. Ugh. So annoying. Just so very, very annoying. Why would I get food poisoning from food I just cooked? <sighs> so troublesome. Alright, so we're waiting on this again. Not exactly uh, what I wanted to be doing. Coffee maker. Uh, Alright, let's... I didn't need to grab that out of there, but let's see. What do you got? Your four percent. Oh look! It happened again. This is the first two times this has happened at all, and it's happened so close to each other now. What the heck? How much does this even give? Four. Four. Why is this happening? <sighs> oh, look, it happened again. I guess I'll just grab the rest of this. There goes, like, all my freaking food. still starving. I'm freaking starving. <sighs> you know what? We're gonna get that. So let's go ahead and use three of these. We'll still be able to get one more. Well, here. Let's make one. And see how that compares to the cornbread. Because it's basically the same, I think. I think. Let's see what the cornmeal takes. Cornmeal. Yeah, cornmeal uses one. And then... Alright, let's turn you off for a second. Alright, the, the... The corn on the cob is actually better. Okay. All right, now I'm just hungry. All right, so the corn on the cob is actually better than the cornbread by one point. And it uses the same materials, because you take one piece of corn, turn it into a cornmeal, and then you use that with the bottled water. Or you just have the ear of corn and the bottled water. So it's better with one less step. Alright, so we know what we're out for this time. We need more food in a serious way. This is not good. We we came out of this whole scenario with less than when we started. We have less hunger than when we started. We have less food than when we started. Oh, look at this. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. There's a doghouse there. I don't like that. Alright. And, of course, I'm going to have to just kind of waddle my way around here. Oh, so annoying. Well, at least I had an egg. I might be able to make some more bacon and eggs and hopefully not get 
or food poisoning. No bloody sense getting food poisoning from something you just cooked. Trash can. Yeah, not much anything in here. Definitely nothing worth sticking around for. All right. Do do do. Yes, yes, I am out of stamina. Oh, interesting. And you know what? I'm gonna drink that because that, yeah, efficient digestion. That gives us a few minutes there of not burning through our existing food as quickly. Which should help us. At the very least, it won't hurt. Oh, come on. You are also locked. Do do do. You're also locked, but you know what? <coughs> You're the one I'm going for. Wow, out of stamina already. Alright. Ooh. Nothing. Really? Alright, those boys are dead. Alright. Oh, good. Food. Alright. We'll get to that in a moment. Food, food, food. With 0% food poisoning chances. Eat those immediately. Ammo pile, huh? Ooh, what are you? The hunter mod. Hmm. Interesting. Not exactly super useful, but mildly. Alright, coffee maker, which has coffee in it, of course. Do, do, do. Just grab this stuff. There was an opening here. How did I miss that? <sighs> How did I miss that? Alright, let's see. Trash compactor. Why do you have two trash compactors next to each other? That don't make a lick of sense. Alright. Do, do cupboard. Ravioli, ravioli. Medical supplies. Ooh, what's that? Fort bites, huh? Interesting. Alright, let's eat this ravioli. There we go. That's going to get us up towards where we need to be on that. What do we got here? Washing machine. Right, we'll grab them for the moment. No real reason not to yet. Oh, I missed that bookcase somehow. Yeah, just some paper, but that's okay. We need those for shotgun shells. Hmm. All right. Time to see if there's any more zombies upstairs. Do do do. Ooh, medicine cabinet. Oh, another beaker. Not that we really need another beaker.
However, might as well grab it. Ooh, food pile. Oh, just water. Serious? Aha! I'm encumbered, but we're not gonna. Oh, you know what? Here, let's let's take a look at that now. All right, so you are only good for hot and cold resist. Scrap that. Denim pants scrapped. We don't really need the blue dye, do we? We'll just toss that. We also don't really need that. All right. Now that, on the other hand, I might want to actually. I hear you. There you are. There you were. <laughs> Interesting little hiding places they've uh, made for them. That's also locked. Ooh. I thought I might have missed something in here. Eh, there was nothing in it. Alright, so that's that one. That's that one. Guess we're looking in here next. Alrighty. Well, there went that dude. This thing is in my way, though. Not that I can see much anything. Oh, you know what? There's a door over there. I'm gonna have to bust through one of these, both of these, anyway. Alright, let's, uh... Yes, I'm encumbered by the stupid chair. Let's put you over there. Doot, doot, do. do, do. There we go. All right, now. Ooh, there is a little pile of ammo. Not the right ammo, but oh well. Oh, Jesus, looks like it's going to be a fun time. What are you? Whoa! Okay, I didn't realize that was a bird. <sighs> what are you even doing here, bird? There we go. Whew, that startled me. I thought that was like some sort of like pickup spot or something, you know? Alright, let's do that. I am encumbered again. However, we're gonna go up here. Make sure there isn't like a zombie about to pop up behind me. There is plenty right in front of me, so... Oh, hello. Ooh, I hear a drop. That I do not see at all. Hmm, all right, well. Guess we're not getting that one, because I don't know where it is. Ammo pile. Ooh, what's that? Insulated liner. Hmm. Sounds useful. Uh, we got a food pile. We definitely need more food. Seeing as we burned through just about everything. Ooh, we got some crates here. Shotgun Messiah, huh? Let's open that up. All right, so we got some iron gloves, some rifle parts, a weighted head mod. We'll go ahead and grab this stuff. Shamway sealed shipping crate. Oh, yeah. Oh, just a thing of sham. What is all this? Iron helmet? Leather gloves? Another junk turret? All right. We are heavily encumbered. Let's get home. Do, do, do. What is this? Is there anything? Oh, hey, look at you. Where did you come from? Hmm. 
medical supplies. Uh, just a pill, but you know what? Better than nothing. Alright, let's get our butt down here. Do, do, do. Find our way through. You know what? We're gonna grab this, too. Yeah, that gives us some more of the stuff we need for more farm plots. Very important, seeing as how low on bloody food I am. Alright, so... Ooh, trash can. Alright. Home is that way. Look at how slow I am. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here. Um, I will probably do a little bit more killing, a little bit more exploring after I, you know, waddle my way home and, you know, drop all this stuff off. Um, but maybe I should also do some of those spikes, you know, things of that nature. We'll come back next time and hopefully have some of uh, these situations resolved enough that I don't have to sit here and try and, you know, eat a whole bunch of, eat all of our food on, you know, on camera here. But that is going to do it for this episode. So, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>